This course examines the psychology of eyewitnesses and its impact on police investigations, revealing the limitations of the human mind and the dangers for criminal justice. Witnesses often only identify somebody about 40% of the time from a lineup. Sometimes the suspect that's been identified isn't actually the culprit. The journey begins by exploring some serious miscarriages of justice, featuring a real eyewitness whose testimony sent the wrong man to prison. I knew that it had been my identification. I mean, I knew that. It wasn't malicious intent. It wasn't racially motivated, but it didn't matter because the end result was Ronald Cotton spent a third of his life in prison for something he didn't do. The course also gives you a chance to follow two investigations of a fictitious crime and use your cognitive and investigative skills to evaluate the evidence. The course was created by Professor Graham Pike, who specializes in eyewitness identification, including eFit technology. There are a new generation of facial compositing systems that are beginning to be used by the police. Graham Pike was also behind a BBC Open University co-production, which is incorporated into the course and which puts eyewitnesses to the test. By working solely from eyewitness accounts and positive identifications, how close to the truth have they got? giving you the chance to use what you have learned to solve a crime and compare how you did against a team of real police officers. By completing the eight-week course, you will have gained some basic knowledge about forensic psychology, gained insights into how your own mind works and understood the vital role of psychology in police investigations.